Hi, I'm Max, and today we're going to talk about vacuum generators. Vacuum generators are compact and relatively simple machines that generate a vacuum very quickly using compressed air. These types of vacuum generators are used in systems built for object handling, such as pick-and-place operation. Vacuum generators are typically used together with vacuum suction cups. A vacuum suction cup is connected to the vacuum generator's outlet and is what is attached to the object being handled. But more on suction cups in another video. Vacuum generators operate on the Venturi effect and Bernoulli's principle, which states that the higher the speed of the air, the lower the pressure. So by blowing compressed air at high speeds through a nozzle, you can create suction, and this is exactly what happens. The benefits of using compressed air to create a vacuum is the fact that it is a very fast method, there are no moving parts, so long lifetime, and the generators are very compact and low weight. Also, no heat is generated, and they're relatively cheap. Do note that you need compressed air available to supply the vacuum generator. There are three main types of generators. You have single stage generators, this is the simplest type with one nozzle, multi stage generators, these have multiple nozzles and create very high suction rates, and you also have compact generators. These are more high end and usually contain valves and communication hardware to integrate in a fully automated system. When selecting a vacuum generator, it is important to take the following criteria into account the suction rate and this is usually defined in cubic meter per hour or liter per minute. The maximum suction rate is defined as the maximum flow rate that the vacuum generator evacuates from the environment. And this is free flow, so the flow rate is different when something is picked up. High suction rates are useful, for example, if you want to lift porous materials or if you need to pick up large objects. The vacuum level, and the vacuum level is the level relative to the ambient pressure. So 80% means that the pressure is 80% lower than the ambient pressure. The evacuation time, and this is the time that is needed to create a vacuum. And lastly, the compressed air consumption. We also recommend installing a silencer at the exit to avoid unwanted noise. In addition, we recommend installing a vacuum filter in the pipe between the suction cup and the ejector. And this is especially necessary in dusty environments. If you have any questions about vacuum generators or any other product, then please contact me or someone else from Tameson.